Now, let's take a look at how we can use use effect hook in React. As you know, in functional component, we use property and state to calculate the output. If the functional component makes calculation that don't target the output value, then these calculations are named side effect. For example, side effects can fetch request or manipulate DOM element directly. Many developers use use effect hook to make the API calls. How often the component render isn't something you can control. If React wants to render the component, you cannot stop it. But you can tell React to add code after rendering the component using a use effect hook. Let me create a simple file to explain how use effect hook can be used in React application. I'm going to create a new file here and specify name use effect.js. Inside this file, I'm going to create a simple functional component. So I'm going to say react functional component like this. And just up here before this return statement, I'm going to add here use effect. Whenever you want to use use effect hook in your functional component of react, you need to first understand the argument of this function because this hook is going to change their behavior using their argument. Use effect hook is going to accept two argument. First is a callback function containing the side effect logic and second is a dependency argument. This is an optional array of dependencies. You can pass your dependencies inside this array. Now let's take a look at a very simple example of use effect. Now let me show you how use effect hook is going to change their behavior according to their argument. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply say here use effect and pass here a callback function. So I'm going to just simply pass here an arrow function like this. And as I said, you can pass here a second argument, which is optional. I'm going to leave it as it is and pass here a colon. Now, this is the use effect react hook. Whenever you render your component, this function will automatically execute. So this hook is going to execute after every rendering. Now, what if you pass here a second argument as an array? Now, the behavior of this function is going to change. This hook is going to execute once after the initial rendering of your component. And what if you pass here dependencies to your use effect hook? For example, if I pass here props and state, if I pass here my property and state as a dependency of this use effect hook, then this hook is going to execute once after the initial rendering and execute again if you have changed the property or the state. So for example, if you change the state of this component, then this use effect hook is going to execute automatically when we change the state. Now let's take a look at a very simple example to understand how use effect work in the react application. So let me simply create here a count example. So let me just add here a state. So in the functional component to add a state, we need to restructure a variable. So I'm going to say here count and say here set count is equal to and then I'm going to say use state here. As you know, we need to first import that hook. So up here, I'm going to say use state as well as you need to import this use effect as well because we don't have this function inside this file. So we need to first import it. So just out of this use state here, I'm going to say use effect just like this. Both these functions are hook. So you can easily import it with this curly braces. So let me just add here use state, use state, and I'm going to pass here initial value zero. Just out of that inside this division tag here, I'm going to just simply add here my paragraph and a button just like this. So I'm going to simply say here you click count times and then I'm going to add a button here with on click event and pass an handler function here. We already created this example in the previous lecture. So I'm not going to explain this statement again. Inside this use effect, I'm going to use my browser API and change the title and just print this value. So I'm going to just simply say here document dot title is equal to and in the backtick operator, I'm going to say you click count times just like this and just specify here dollar to print this variable value and just pass here semicolon. Let me save the changes back to my index.js. Let me close this count and let me just use my use effect hook here. So I'm going to say here use effect. Let me just copy this component like this. Save the changes. When I open my browser, you can notice I'm going to get an error message. The identify use effect has already been declared. So in the React application, you can't create a component with the name of the hook. So for example, if you create a component with use state, you're going to get an error message for that as well. So I'm going to just add here use effect hook just like this. Let me copy this component, save this file, change here as well, just like this. Now when I execute my program, I'm going to have an error message. Property is not defined, state is not defined and set count is not defined. 
right here we have the capital s here let me change it and then let me get rid of this second argument from this use effect because we don't have props and state as a dependency to this use effect let me save this file back to my browser and reload it as you can see i'm not gonna get anything here because in react whenever you create any component you can't use this use statement before any component otherwise react will consider this component as a hook so keep in mind whenever you create a component in react don't use this use statement before it instead you can add anything here so let me just get rid of it save this file and back to my index.js and rename this use effect here as well so i'm going to change this file name and i'm going to say here effect hook and do the same and then and then i'm going to just copy this hook paste it here and here let me save the changes save this file as well back to my browser and reload it as you can see i'm going to have my example now when i click on this click me you can notice i'm going to just update this value and the title as well let me just open the inspect tool first and show you the result inside this element you can notice here i have here a title you clicked zero times you can see the title here as well at the top when i click on this click me button you can notice it's going to update this value as well as the title if you take a look at this example then you can notice here i'm using document.title to change the value of the title now let me explain this example we declare the count variable and then we tell the react we need to use an effect so we pass a function to the use effect hook this function we pass is our effect inside our effect we set the document.title using this document.title browser api we can read the latest count inside the effect because it's in the scope of this function when the react render our component it will remember the effect we used and then run our effect after updating the dom when you click on the button it will first update this dom element and then update the title this happened for every render including the first one let me click on the button again as you can see this will first update this dom element and then update this title you can notice here so any code that you want to execute after render method then you can use this use effect hook we will learn more about this hook in the future lectures but just for now let's understand how to create your own hook in the react application